Hey guys, what's up? Um, today we're just gonna finish the gun system real quick, so we can just move on to the customization of the next tutorial. Because I know uh, a lot of you have been kind of wanting to know how to do the customization, just like in Call of Duty. So, um, let's get started. So in the previous tutorial, we were we just got done doing the burst fire gun mode, and it uh it kind of didn't fire. Well, I thought we just didn't see it fire, but it appears that it really didn't fire. And the reason for that is that fire B is only called when on get button up, but it's not continuously getting called. So while shots left is still bigger than zero, this code is not executing because, see, we press the button once, it's called, it shoots one time, and then it stops getting called, but shots left is still bigger than zero, so we can't call it again. So to fix that, simply call this every all the time just put this right here right above the if input dot get button blah 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 right above here now it's being called every frame that gun type is e that type is equal to gun type dot burst fire so every frame the type is burst fire it will call this meaning it will always execute this and this this code will only execute if shots left is bigger than zero so fantastic let's check this out uh... open the gun script right make this a type burst fire so i just played with the settings a bit set the spread to ten uh, recall the one wait to one we're gonna do recall and wait to day two so just know that number of shots is three right let's test this out wonderful so you got three shots each one is in a new position you know what let's you can even make it that five lovely and you can do it make it however you want look I'm gonna make it like ten click once and it shoots ten times you can make it even faster see so our gun's working perfectly great now what we want to do is add recall so the gun kind of bounces back when you shoot right easy we already did this and uh... yeah so let's begin coding first of all we need to record its starting position so we need to know what position to return to so uh... private var excuse me um, lock position is of type vector three, right? Yeah, that's all we need to do. And then, in the start, just set lock position equal to trend transform dot local position. And guys, make sure it's dot local position, not that position. And uh, if you're getting some kind of weird errors, you know, if it's like flipping out or going like way off the screen, then it's probably because you did that position. So make sure it's local position. We're working with transform.local position right now. Now, in the update function, we want to set smooth damp to each of these. Right? And then later on, we'll, uh, we'll make it like rotate smoothly with the, uh, move smoothly with the player. Okay. So now, um, first of all, the x axis. So transform dot local position dot x equals. Oh right, I forgot. We need a couple more variables. So first are three. And right, first one. Excuse me. First one is private var z add. Now this is for the recall. So recoil, whatever you want to call it. So we'll just keep that up there. Next is var damp. Excuse me, that was my phone. Damp x equals 3.0, and then do that for each axis. Damp z and damp y all equal 3.0. Great. Now after this, type math f dot smooth damp here put transform dot local position 
dot x um lock position dot x then put damp x and last but not least put weight and because weight is a lot and this is like the speed it will come back and so we want the more weight the you know the heavier it is the less time it takes to come back because this is how much time it takes to come back right hold on one second right um excuse me for that um this is the time it's going to take it to come back so the bigger the this number is the bigger the, bigger the weight the more time it's going to take it to come back so we're just because one is like a long time one second is a long time to come back we're just going to divide that by uh 20.5 don't ask me why 20.5 i played with the settings of this uh, you know i did this before i played with the numbers and i found 20.5 seemed to be a good number so just use that you can use 100 if you want to you can use 10 whatever I suggest like numbers like 10, 100, and you know, stuff that will take zeros off it, but I just found this number to be good somehow. Right, now take, and copy and paste it just like I did before, and whenever it, there's X, change that to Y. Right? Y, Y, and damp Y. Paste that again and change that to Z. Z. There we go. Right, now we're all set. Now, one last thing. We need to minus off of here the Z add. Perfect. Right, now all that's left to do is set the Z add to a value each time we fire and then set it back to zero each time we don't. So each time we don't fire, we want to set else Z add equals 0.0. .0. Now we didn't actually set it to something, so it's just keep gonna keep equaling 0, 0.0. So let's set it to something down here, right? So when we fire, right before we take a bullet down for the mag, we set Z add equal to recoil, and again the number of the recoil is a bit big, so we're gonna just divide that by 20.5 again. Favorite number and then do this again for the fire s and we don't need to do that for the fire b because fire b just calls on fire a by the way i don't know why i have that line there right <coughs> great now we just need to do this else statement on each each f block so copy and paste that and one last thing right here right make sure Every everywhere you're counting time, everywhere time dot time is bigger than something, you should have an else with z add equal to zero point zero. Everywhere you have that time that time, right? <coughs> now this should work. Let's give it a test run. Alright, I'm gonna set my weight to one, uh recoil to four, burst fire mode, yes. <coughs> Alright, we should be set. Let's check it out. And we're not bouncing around. Why is that not happening? Right, let me just pause this so I can check the error and not waste your time. Alright guys, sorry for that break. Um I found the reason why I wasn't uh firing back. It's it was just for the burst fire mode I forgot to put um I forgot to do exactly what I told you to do. <laughs> And uh I forgot to put something here. Hold on. There, I don't know why it needs it, but I think it does. Um let me pause just one sec. Alright. Um now it should work. Uh, I forgot need to put it in there too. I thought it didn't, but it seems it do. And alright, it's still not firing. So let me check that one more time. All right, now I really found the problem. It wasn't this? I really didn't need this here. It was this. Uh, I finally figured it out. Um, uh, because uh, this is only getting called once, then this is getting called all the time. So we need to just stop that. Because you know we only click once, and all the and when we are not clicking, it's still doing that. Z add equals zero. 
So put z add equals 0 0.0 only here, not here. This is the only case where you don't put it. Now let's fire it and see what how it goes. All right, it disappeared. That is kind of strange. Okay, so oh well, we'll debug that in the next tutorial. Um, what next is uh the effects, right? So let's change that to automatic. Uh, remember to always save your scene. And now we're finally gonna make some particle effects, right? So we're gonna use the Unity's new particle system, not the old one. The legacy, if you see here, you get particles. Legacy, we're not gonna use these, we're gonna use particle system, right? So just go to game object, create other particle system. Great, now you'll get a big scary thing like this and lots of new parameters which you have no idea how to use, or maybe you do, I don't know, but they're really easy to use. Don't worry, don't like get scared. It's ex almost exactly the same as the previous one. First of all, I'm making sparks. So we first want to change our render mode to a uh, stretched billboard, right? Length scale, just put that at four. This looks more kind of sparksy. All right. Now, first, second, we want to change the shape of the emitter to a sphere and set the radius to zero so you get like kind of a point from the point of the collision so yeah it will emit from the point of the collision All right now emission you can uh you can play with this here i'm just not gonna play with it much maybe i'll uh, increase the rate and add like a bunch here yeah that's pretty good okay um let's just set that to 50 Right now, here's where the actual uh, shaping of the particle uh, emission is, and you can see right, it's very big, and the particles last a very long time. So we want to tone that down. Now, uh, in the new particle system, you work with curves. So if you want just two numbers, you if you want to random between two numbers, and you don't want to use curves, which curves are like a pattern of numbers, then just do random between two curves and don't curve it at all. I'm going to do between 0 and, well, let's just set that to the maximum, and then set the maximum to 0 0.1, All right, simulate, yeah, perfect, All right, now maybe we want it a bit longer, yeah, 0 0.2, now I want to give it a lot more energy, um, oh wait, that is the energy. Yeah, right, we want to give it a lot more speed, excuse me. So let's set that to like 10. No, we're going to set it to random between two curves too. I'm going to set it to, um, max speed of 20. Right. And then size. Size, we're just, we're just going to set another random between two curves. I just like randoms. And... Yeah, but we're gonna set instead of zero of instead of one point zero, we're gonna do zero point two. All right, let's simulate that. Perfect. Right now, um, play on awake. I'll transform. These are parameters you don't need to know. What's bothering me is that um, you see every couple of seconds you get that. We want only that. So. We want just one burst and then stop it. So let me just play with the parameters for a quick sec. All right, I just decided to take off this uh, 50 and just sing, leave that like this. So I think this will serve as pretty good sparks. Um, maybe give it some rotation. So that and uh, between 90 degrees. That uh, should be good. Alright, so this will serve for now as our sparks, of course, will make it much prettier later on. Uh, but last of all, but not least, let's change the color of it, at least. It's the least it can do. And, alright, now, uh, I think it has a bit too much energy, a bit too much speed. I'm just going to tone mine down a bit, like this. 
Yeah, 10 seems good. And then energy. Um, why is that a ton? I thought I said way lower. Um, two? No. All right, this is good. No, oh, wait. It's way too long. Let's set it to five. Yeah, that's good. All right, no speed. I'm just gonna pause the video and come out with the final results so I don't waste time. Okay, I finished my sparks. Let me just uh once you finish your sparks, just name it sparks and I'm gonna show you how to use it in a sec. Just before we make the uh muzzle flash. Alright, so another particle system. And then I'm just gonna leave this at cone. I'm just gonna show you the basic, then I'm gonna pause and customize it. Right. This I think the duration one duration doesn't really matter just so you know um yeah you can just play with the parameters change the color I'm gonna make it red nah orange e no that's a yellow that's a definitely yellow, like bright yellow yeah that should be good okay now emission need to emit a lot more shape emitter now I'm gonna set the radius to zero because I want to come out of one point perfect right this is gonna be like what it's like when we're firing like an auto mode this is how it's gonna look like now what's really nice about this new particle system let me just set that to muzzle flash is that you can actually like play with the size of it and the shape of the emission like this like if you want a bigger or more concentrated explosion you can actually play with the radius really nicely I'm gonna leave it at this not a bit bigger whoops oh, I hate when that happens to me alright yeah perfect alright this this serves good for me it's, yeah this looks okay in game make it higher um... set the speed, I mean a bit less energy a bit less nah I think it was perfect before I don't know why I changed it okay alright now that you got both your effects put them in player right? this sparks effect we don't need the sparks anymore and then set their um looping off and what else I think that's it just set oh and set off play on awake All right play on awake is off you know when we play we should see them not emitting at all that's good okay now what we want to do next is go there, right, right here. Then we want to get another uh, variable called muzzle flash. Make it of type transform. Good. All right. So now while we're firing, we want to tell it to play, and while we're not, we want to tell it to stop. Right. So it's basically just like the Z-Add. Wherever you had Z-Add equals 0.0, .0 just add muzzle flash that stop. Right? So, um, actually, you know what? We can make this a lot simpler. Right here. Um, actually, no. I'm going to choose a different system. Sorry, I'm kind of indecisive right now. All right, we're going to go with the previous plan. Type here, um, muzzle flash dot particle system dot play right and do that also for the fire shotgun and also here instead but instead of muzzle flash replace that with sparks and same here Whoops, 
um sparks array i right great now we need to stop these effects when we're not firing so here we want to stop it stop both effects remember um dot stop and then same for the sparks sparks that stop great now I'll do that copy this because we're gonna need in a couple more places um right here and now because this is a shotgun we're not emitting the regular sparks transform remember we're emitting from the array so you gotta loop over the array again so just copy this loop and instead of sparks array equals sparks array dot particle system dot stop wanna stop all of them okay um... well why did I copy paste that I don't need this I need this. Right. Now make more brackets. Perfect. One. Now let's test it out. Oh, whoops, forgot to set it. Let me just pause this and set it. Okay, we're done. Uh, right. Why is that not working well? Let's test the uh, automatic mode. It's not doing it all. Okay. Let me check the code one second. Okay, I realized I made a small mistake. Um, instead of putting this here, what we need to do is something a bit more complex, right? So we need to delete this and make this into a separate if statement, right? If then go like that and then and this here. Right. Hold on. And then move this way up here. Else right, so yeah, I know it's kinda complicated right now, but simple logic before we checked we did in one if the same check both checks in one if but now we want to do different uh, stuff on the else of each check so else here we just want to set z add to zero but else here we want to set the particle systems to stop we don't want to do that here so that's why we need to separate them I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for each one if and add this this Add this else. Set the Z add right here. Delete it from here. Right. Continue doing that. And else right here. Right. And now for the burst fire mode, I want to do the exact same thing and just delete this out of here and put it right here. Else. Okay. Great. Now let's uh, check it out. Beautiful. Oh. One more thing I forgot to do. Put the muzzle flash and the sparks in the gun so they will follow along with it. Actually, the sparks put out of the gun. Put in the player. But the muzzle flash put in the gun. Great. Now you see that's working. Let's test shotgun mode. See, we get multiple hits. And uh, it's kind of small to see right now. You know what? Let's make 10 and make the spread like 50 right set that to shotgun mode and you can see it looks like an actual shotgun 
except for the effects are kind of shitty. But we'll take care of that in, the, um, in another tutorial. So that's it for this tutorial. Sorry it was kind of long and uh, had a couple of errors, but it's been a long time since I did this. And I'm quite new to the particle system, the usage of this particle systems too. So um, sorry for the errors. And uh, sorry for the length, but uh, thanks for sticking with me, and um, keep tuning for more tutorials. Bye-bye.